Today I'm going to be showing you the top mistakes that I see on theme parks and that you can fix very easily and make your park a lot better. Before we start, make sure to join my Discord server. I'm going to have the link in the description. So make sure you go check that out. Mistake number one is going to be crowding. Here I have one of my like super old parks right here. I'm going to be showing you some examples of what you should not do when I was like a noob. So first of all, right here, my park is actually really crowded. I see more crowded parks but just make sure you don't have everything crowded. Like right here, there's only one little path in the middle. Do not do that. Make sure everything's really spaced out and that will make your park a lot better. All right, so mistake number two is going to be using default paths. I see this in almost every park. We use all these really gross default paths. Don't do that. Don't use the default cobblestone paths. Make sure you change the path to whatever you like, but what I would suggest is make it gray and concrete, and then you can make this entire thing concrete, and it makes it look so much more realistic. Even real theme parks have this. Make sure you do not use that default path. Now, mistake number three is going to be avoiding entrances. I see everywhere nobody has an entrance. Right here, I actually did have an entrance, but always make entrances. Right here, my friend's park right here has a really cool entrance. It's super simple, but it's a really cool entrance. And you can just do stuff like this and it'll make your park a lot better. Mistake number four is avoiding images. Lots of people avoid images because they're hard to put down or they're hard to make custom. But these images make your park so much more custom and so much more detailed than just building normally with your with primitives and stuff. Like right here, these doors, it makes it look so much better using custom images and stuff like this. Even if you just search the image up, it makes it look a lot better. Mistake number five is going to be having rough or not too much terrain. I did not put too much terrain in this park. Make sure you do a lot of terrain. In my tips video I had, I actually showed you in this tips video how to make really cool and smooth terrain. And so right here, it's really, really easy to make it smooth. All you need to do is bring these down and up. Make sure it's not really steep on any of the parts. And just like that, it makes the terrain look way better and your park look way better. Mistake number six is having no ride stations right here. I didn't even care about ride stations. I didn't even know how to make them, but make sure you build ride stations. I also taught you how to make those ride stations in the tip video that I have right here. I made a little ride station. Um, this one actually does not look that bad and it's really simple. I just put poles and roofs on it and it looks way better than just not having anything. Now mistake number seven is going to be having trash everywhere. Right here in this park, I have trash. It's not that hard to put trash cans everywhere. Just put trash cans. It might look ugly with trash cans, but it looks uglier with having trash on the floor like this. And it takes forever to clean, even though it looks kind of funny. Mistake number eight is going to be rough coasters. This coaster, as you can tell, I don't even have to ride it. It's already super rough. I have no banking on these really sharp turns and make sure you don't make sharp turns like this. Like these sharp turns, don't do sharp turns like that. And if you are doing turns, always, always, always bank your turns because it'll make it way smoother. Right here, this super sharp turn I have right there, that's gonna be really rough and really, really Tip number nine is going to be plain stalls. These stalls, don't just place the stalls and leave it like that. Make it custom. The tip video also shows you how to make custom stalls, but I can just make one right here really quick. I'm just gonna use brick and just, it's really, really easy to make these stalls. You really don't need to do a lot of work. Just put brick around it like this, and then we can put it on the back like this and just cover the stalls because the colors and the shapes of the stalls honestly don't even look that good. So you can go like that and then maybe like some things in the middle of them. And then we can place some roofs right here, just right there along this line. And then we can paint them like, I don't know, you can paint it anything you want, but I'm just gonna paint it like a brown color and then planks, cause that's kind of like what roofs look like anyways. And just like that, you have like a super cool custom stalls. It's so much better than having just plain stalls like these stalls over here, they look really ugly and plain. Mistake number 10 that I made in this park is boring looking rides. This ride looks horrible. There's nothing to it. It's just there. It just exists. No one really sees it because it's really boring. So what I'm going to do, make it a little house on top of it. Make it like a station kind of and just have an entire thing on top of it. This will make your rides really custom and so much more, so much cooler. We can put like roofs on here too. Yeah, we can use these corner roofs for these little edges right here, these corners. And then we'll use the these kinds of roofs for this part of the roof. See, now it looks a lot better. We'll put some flat roofs right here. And just like that, it looks way, way better than just not having anything like that. 
All right, mistake number 11 that I have, I just use default colors everywhere. Do not use default colors. Let me paint it. I painted it like this weird, let's do the green. Ew, no. What if we paint it like red and then like white? See, that looks so much better than the default brown one. All right, so that's going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you like this overall kind of content, please subscribe down below. If you want to watch more videos, here are some suggested videos that you also might like.